What's up guys? Welcome to your 105th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Uh, what we're going to do real quickly is set up a couple boolean values uh, called CanW and CanR. Can read and write. Um, so we're, we're going to set these boolean values to be is just, uh, you know, what they should be. CanW equals CanR. Can read, can write equals true within, you know, our state where we can read and write. And can uh, W equals false here but can r equals true and lastly can w equals can r equals false and what we're going to do in this tutorial we aren't actually going to work with the data yet we're going to do something called a spinner within xml um, so go over to your external data and look for something called a spinner I'm just going to drag and drop it uh, within our class here. Now let's just check our references and make sure everything's the same. I'm just going to keep the default for the most part because it's probably the only time we're going to use spinner. Um, so it's just going to be spinner1 and let's set that up within our external data class. So now let's set up some stuff within our, our class here. We're going to set up a spinner and we're going to call it uh, just spinner, uh, something like that. Pretty clever, huh? Um, yeah, thought of that name for that variable for quite some time. And what we're also going to do is create a string array. And we're going to call this paths, something like that. We're going to set this equal to um, open bracket quotations. And we're going to say like music uh, because basically we're creating paths that we can save something to for this activity. Um, so we're gonna say path or music pictures and just download something like that. So just a quite a pretty small string array there. And uh, just has three things again position zero, one, and two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our spinner uh, within our onCreate method. So just go within the brackets of our onCreate and we're just gonna say spinner equals uh, again spinner. Um, and find view by ID r dot ID dot spinner one. Now what we're gonna add to the spinner is we're gonna say spinner dot set instead of on click listener we're gonna say set adapter and we're gonna just uh, leave it as adapter here. But uh, we don't have a adapter yet. Um, so we're going to create an adapter called adapter just so it will match this right here above where we actually access the adapter. So what we're going to do is how we're going to set up our array um, adapter is just type in array adapter or I should, I should say how we're going to set up our adapter for here. We're going to make it be an array adapter and just say adapter. And this should be kind of familiar with you know where you guys probably got super confused at the beginning of the series when we worked with array adapters but now all we're gonna do is we're gonna set this array type array adapter type to be string because we're working with this array paths up here um, the string array up here so it's array adapter type string called adapter so it matches right here and now what we're gonna say is uh, new adapter new array adapter And again, type string, and uh, within its within its uh, parameters, we're going to say this for the context of our class, or even just you can also say external data, which is our class name. Dot this comma, and then we can refer to the ant, uh, basically what comes with the SDK for a simple spinner item. So we're just going to say Android dot R dot layout dot simple uh, spinner item hit that and the last thing we need to set up uh, so there's three things within the parameters the context uh, kind of this type of spinner layout for the most part which we're just going to use the default for the most part and then we also need to set up our a string array so we're, our string array was called paths so it's kind of difficult to see, but uh, yeah, just make sure you know the context. This 
ray adapter or the type is uh, just from the Android SDK called spinner a simple spinner item and the third one is our string array called paths right here so that's pretty much it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to access which spinner item has been been touched and I'll catch you guys then have a good one